made by my great-grandmother. So if you look, all the stitching that is on here, that this is all handwork that is done after the quilt has been put together. All of these little stitches right here. And this is a lot of it's velvet. You can see it's been, you know, worn and stuff. There's a lot of velvet and crazy quilts were pretty much you just took bits and pieces of whatever you had in your stash, leftover fabric from um, clothing, pants, and you just put it all together and made a quilt out of it. This is our featured quilter. Garn is not up here yet this morning, but um, we have a featured quilter every year. We feature one of our members. And so this is her display of quilts that she's made over the her past few years of quilting. And she kind of did something fun this year. She's made quilts for her, her four grandchildren. And so she brought her grandchildren's quilts, and she's got them each labeled, you know, which is which. So that was kind of a fun thing yeah. to tie back to her grandkids. Yeah, this is kind of a psychedelic one. Which yeah, <laughs> pretty fun. And then this one's fun. What is this one? This is three-dimensional. Oh, yes, that was the class that we had. It is very three-dimensional. So that's like considered what we'd call a little wall hanging. And another one of garnets for a grandchild. So here is some more antiques. Yeah, this, is, this one says it was made between the 1832 um, to 39. And this one I know, um, one of our members, somebody had brought this to her and they were saying it is from 1884 and there is a date on it, but um, you should really come up and see some of the stitching on this. It is just incredible and it is in such wonderful condition. The person that owns this has really treasured it and taken care of it. But yeah, here's the date right here. It says 1884 on it. But and all the stitching that's yeah, on yeah, here, the little flag. yes, is all just handwork that, hand that this quilter has done at the very end after she's put it all together. Oh, that's fun. So as a quilter, it's always, um, it's always an honor to be able to see antique quilts because that's our heritage. That's how we all got started. Um, I personally had two great aunts that taught me how to quilt years ago. And so to see something like this, we all had to start somewhere. So a few more samples of quilts. This is more a reproduction of the 30s fabric, and that's what we would call a sampler quilt. It's just different types of blocks all put together to make a quilt. And then also I'd like to have you take an angle of looking at the quilt show from this side. So we're on the opposite side of the balcony. Yeah. 